Hey cousins, how are you guys doing today? How's it going? We're at 393 subscribers, yay. But anywho, um, today's video is gonna be another work vlog. And I'm gonna try, you know, the last video I gave you guys tips on um, MedPass. I'm going to try to go in the order that I gave y'all in the previous video and that's what this video is going to consist of today so i'm going to try to demonstrate everything that i explained to y'all um so yeah but right now i'm just getting clothes together i gotta wash my bag because it's dingy so yeah i'm fixing to wash my bag get my clothes and stuff together run and get something to eat and yeah and that's about it i'll catch you guys at work so yeah, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so I've made it to work. Let me go put my things down, say my prayer, and get started, okay? Okay, so y'all, I'm just gonna give y'all a little look at the cart. So as I said in the last video, you have different drawers, and each drawer have a certain medication in it. So this is the top drawer. It is kind of nasty, y'all. I am so freaking sorry. But if you see things like this, please clean out your cart. Do not let this go on. I have already put my over-the-counters. And I'm stopped for the shift. But by the end of the shift, I will be replacing bottles because they are kind of empty. Now, this is the drawer where you have your cart with the prescribed medications on it. Um, I'm not going to get too close, but I don't want to reveal any names. We got to not violate hip or here. So, that's that. And down here, you have inhalers, nicotine patches, um, things like that. The bottom, you just keep your supplies like your Clorox wipes and things. Cheese trays, blood pressure cups, insulin. Extra spoons if you need it, your mirror legs, protein, and then this is the narcotic box. On the side, you have your medication cups, spoons, straws, and all of that. So everything is stopped and I'm ready to go. I will be inserting a clip where you guys can see um, how we do the narcotic count, but I'll probably do that towards the end. So stay tuned. You will see that. Started with everything. I've already did my um, vital sign, so that is out the way. We're gonna go ahead and start with the medication pass, and I'll show you guys what I was talking about when I said to start with the over the counters first, then the prescribed, and then the narcotics. So we'll get to that. So just stay tuned. Let's get this thing so far. All right. So my first resident. Um, she takes a medication to stimulate your appetite. So we keep it in the refrigerator. You do have medication that has to stay in the refrigerator. Make sure, be sure to follow all guidelines in the kind of stuff like this because we don't want the medication to cause the resident to have no type of um, complication. So it's locked in the refrigerator and it's also locked in a box. So. Let me find a key to this. So many keys. I'm going to label this one first. Alright. So in the box, we have cups. So you can just go ahead and pop out what you need. And make sure when you're doing your narcotic count that you're coming in here and counting this as well. So she currently has 17 left. And I'm going to make it 16. This is the pill. Make sure you're locking it back. Give it a tug. Make sure it's locked. All right. So let me make sure I am signing off this narcotic now, so I won't forget. And if you haven't seen my previous videos. Each cart has a binder with the narcotic sheets in it. Don't want to be too close because of HIPAA. So, um, 
make sure you're signing off the right thing and you're signing it off for the right time. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. So let me go check in pharmacy. You guys, you have so many interruptions, okay? So just, just try to start on time, okay? And I pulled this pill and I can't give it right now, so I'm gonna take it with me. I'm not gonna leave it here because it's a narcotic. And I just seen a problem in the book, so we're gonna discuss that when I come back from um, pharmacy. So yeah, because something ain't right. Because y'all, I told y'all it was 17 that's in there, but in the book it says 18. So let me go talk to Jessica because I did not count this card. All right, so as I stated before in my last. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I don't know. Ask Jessica, she got there. Yeah. Because as I stated in my last videos, and I'm going to continue to say, make sure you're counting your narcotics. If it's in the refrigerator, if it's a box in here, whatever it might be, make sure you are counting them. The car in the refrigerator had 17. I took one which made it seven, I mean, maybe 16. But on the paper, it's saying that 18 is left because the previous nurse forgot to sign it off. So you want to make sure you are checking everything. So I call her up. She's aware that she didn't sign it off. When she comes back in, she will sign it. Like, I'm glad that happened because I can show you guys. But it's not, it's not good. Yeah. Oh, let me show y'all. I wish she would have signed off and it would have made it 17. I went ahead and put that. So when you're signing, make sure the spots that you don't sign in, you put a line so no one else can come behind you and write anything. So behind your this and your name, make sure you're putting a line. Take much right now. I went ahead and put that tape over the screen so you won't see their name. But as you can see here, she has a over-the-counter. This is a narcotic. If you see the C, it means controlled substance. And then she takes metoprolol. So you can go ahead and start with the over-the-counter. And then I already got the narcotic because it was in the refrigerator. So I did narcotic over the counter and then I'll take this out. Now normally, well sometimes you have some people that take thousands of pills. So you have more over the counters to get and then more of prescribed. But for this particular person, she don't take that much, which is easy. But with the medications, make sure that everything is matching the screen because something can't get out of order. Don't expect for everything to be perfect because everybody makes mistakes. And we're humans. It's humans doing this job, it's not robots. They can make mistakes too, but everybody makes mistakes. So just be aware and double check yourself and others because nobody is perfect. But I have pulled all of her medications and let me go give it to her. I have a blood sugar that I need to go check that I was unaware about. So I just want to give you guys some inf information on your blood sugar equipment. It'll be best if you find a tray or a cup or something to put your stuff in and put a lot of it in there. Don't just put one strip or one alcohol pad or one um, prick, pricker because sometimes you'll prick them and you won't get any blood and you'll have to restick. Um, sometimes you won't have enough blood on a strip and you need another strip. So make sure you're putting everything you need in a cup or a tray so that you can um you won't have to keep going back and forth it'll save you some steps oh yeah let me go do this so she refused 
everything but her blood pressure is um out of whack her blood sugar is high so keep in mind you're going to have a lot of people to refuse your medication because they're elderly they're confused and you know they just don't want to take it but you have to encourage them to take it you can't just say okay you don't want to take it you don't have to take it you have to encourage them to take their medications when it's out of whack okay so it's not okay to just put refuse on everything some stuff you can but if it's blood pressure medicine insulin and things like that let's just make sure we are still trying to you know get them to take their medicine now you cannot force it on them but let's make sure we're trying so i'm still going to go in here and try to give it to her hopefully i can convince her to take it hello hi does mr get a tray which one is that 23 a bed as as jessica because somebody was just asking me where he was at and no that was mr jacobs he was at dialysis okay i'm not sure mr pettis is an a bed he should have been getting the tray he's been here he for said a while. he didn't get one what you seen the cna up there mr jacobs got a tray have you seen the, his cna up there i didn't see his cna who's his cna um it's either gonna be Lisa or Merlane? Unless that tray that was on Mr. Jacobs tray was supposed to be for Mr. Pettis. I'm not even sure. I can't even tell you. But if any tray is missing, they should be going to find out. Okay. Uh -huh. Mr. Jacobs, you have Jessica got him. I just told him. Like, I don't try to be rude or nothing like that, but you know, like, I'm, I'm passing medication. So, I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with the trays and who getting one and who not getting one unless the CNA brings it to my attention. Now, the CNAs are good about going to find a tray going to the kitchen and getting the tray. Now, the only time I will interfere is if they need a diet slip. Other than that, ask the CNA. I don't know. Go down to the kitchen and ask them where his tray is. Like, it don't, a nurse don't have to do everything. Like, simple stuff, handle it. I don't get it. I guess you want me to stop what I was doing and go get a tray. I have people that need medication, so I'm going to be doing that first. You can find a CNA. It's listed on the board. See, the CNA already went to get the tray. Come on now. Calm down. We are, we got this thing on lock. We know how to do this. She already went and got the tray. Come on. If they pass the trays and they see somebody don't have a tray, they're going to go get a tray. If they don't, they lazy and they don't need to work here. Simple. As much as I would like to be in every place at one time and making sure everything is straight, I can't do that. Sorry, I can't. So as I stated before, you know, ask them if they need PRNs before, you know, you start. But some things come up, so her bottom is hurting and she can get Tylenol every eight hours. So. We're going to give her Tylenol. So you just put here what's wrong, resident, stated at her. Oh, Lord, what am I writing? What up? Alright, so once you put that in, if the resident is able to give you a numeral uh, pain level, you just go ahead and put it in. So she said it's a 6, record it, and then you always have to sign it off when you're doing PRN. So put your password in, and then just go ahead and hit save. 
So on your report sheet, you will write down that you gave her Tylenol at 550. So you can pass it on to the next nurse, but it will always be here in the computer if you need to go back and look at it. I'm gonna try to um, do my last narcotic count with you guys so you can see how that's done. If I can get my fellow nurse to cooperate with me. She don't really like to be on the camera, but she gonna get on there today. She gonna get on the camera today. But yeah, let me go get the keys from her, y'all, because I got to give a narcotic. And we sharing this card, so be back. I'm not sure where she's at. So I'm going to move on to the next person because I can't wait around for the key. So you're going to do the count with me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So let me see. I can go ahead and give her medicine now. And then I'm going to come back and clean it up. Because I'd rather get this out the way first. So. So she has 18 left. Let's make sure this says the same thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna head up here to the front and clean up. Cause I got two parts to clean. Two parts to clean. Girl, I did not see you. <laughs> I need some help. What's wrong? What you need help with? What's it? What do you need help with? I don't think she in there. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's normal. It's a part of the environment. Okay, you guys. So, me and Miss Jessica are going to um, do the count. Now you can't see much, Yo, but it's me. fine. You can hear. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So you can start. You should have seven cards. With one in the refrigerator. So we've already checked the um, refrigerator, of course. Um, so just remember Yo, to I... make sure you're checking <laughs> everything. <laughs> um the refrigerator and everything but like i said we've already done that so yeah um we're going to refrain from calling names due to HIPAA. but you would want to call the name and the number of um yeah, pills wow. that they have left so we have 13 13 30 30 6 23 23 18, 18. 28, 28, and 16 in the refrigerator. Yeah, correct. And that's it, y'all. Like, that's all you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, normally it's more like in that card, we have liquid morphine. We should have counted that card, but anywho, in that card, we have liquid morphine. We also have money, um, for dialysis patients. So, you want to make sure you're counting all of that and yeah and basically here you have a sheet which keeps the number of the cards so everything everything has to match up so this is a perfect count and we are ready for the next shift to come on and there's something else we gotta sign right uh, uh, yeah this sheet so this is the control drug count record and you'll just sign um, the spot where you came in and left off at. So I would sign the 3 to 11 nurse coming on and the 3 to 11 nurse going off and so on and so forth. And that's just how simple it is, guys. You just got to make sure you're checking everything. Because like earlier, it was wrong. Miss <laughs> Jessica. Miss Jessica. 
<laughs> was about to get all of us fired. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, when you work with good people, it's good to work with good, honest people. But, you know, you don't always work with good, honest people. So it's always good to double check behind everybody. Yourself, another nurse. Don't don't trust nobody. Don't get too comfortable, you know. It's still a job. We still got to do our job the correct way. So, yeah. That's about it, guys. <laughs> I guess Jessica didn't mind being in the camera today. She mind, but you know, <laughs> we just thugging, so we're gonna keep on now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, that's the end of the shift. I mean, I done did my medication, I'm about to um, chart it up. It was a great shift, honestly. You guys, drop in the comment section if there's anything that you need to know, want to know, would like for me to do. I still have to do G2 because I've got that request. I'm just trying to come up with an awesome way to do it so you will understand um, everything that I'm going through, you know. And it's kind of hard to do it when you can't have the residence in it, but I'm going to find a way to do it. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned. We're currently at 397 subscribers. I know earlier I said 393. We're at 397 now. You guys are really rocking out. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, watching. So, yeah. So, we're almost at 400. So, you guys be on the lookout for that giveaway. Deuces.